A glimpse of the old against the new. Gary O'Neill's side make the trip from West to East Midlands, looking for a first win in four in all competitions, hoping to reignite the race for European qualification. Standing in their way, the man who last led the old gold into Europe, Nuno now has the job of securing Forest's future in the top flight. The tricky trees are only out of the relegation places by goal difference and have won this fixture just once in the last ten. So Javier's ball forwards, headed away, picked up on by Doyle. Doyle picks a lovely pass out to Doherty. Doherty back in field, it's going to come to Semedo, edge of the penalty area. Back it's to Doyle. Doyle. I have a go, tried to curl it, got underneath it, high and behind for a goal kick. Clipped in by Reyna, Jose Sarr flapped at it a little bit, comes to the edge of the area. Hudson Adoy to try and strike it, got underneath it, over the top of the bar and a goal kick. Oh, that's loose by Semedo, pounced on by Reina. Reina striking low, and it's just wide oh, oh. of Jose Sars right hand upright as he looks downfield. Backwards to Kilman, now into the centre circle to Doyle, allowed to turn. Semedo had run offside, but he plays it to the right hand side to Cunha. Cunha's gone for goal, and I think he caught the goalkeeper napping. He was just too high and wide, but. Matt Sells, I think, was expecting a cross and had moved for it. Cunha, from a very wide angle, very nearly. Oh, the keeper looks silly. Well, I, I think Sells was still moving across his, his goal line. I think sometimes you've got to try and keep it low. Well, Forrest have given it away to Xiao Gomez in the penalty area, clear off the line. Sarabia, oh, how has he missed? Right foot. He's really On his foot. right foot, yeah. eight yards out. It was nearly Wolves' turn to get a gift. Forrest playing around in their penalty area, passed it straight to Xiao Gomez, whose curling effort had beaten the goalkeeper, headed off the line by Murillo. And then the follow-up there on his right foot, sat up for Pablo Sarabia, hits the target and Wolves' lead. Went back beyond the far post. comes Rayner, trying to invite Nico Williams into the attack, into the penalty area and shooting and under pressure from Doherty, couldn't drag it back and get it on target. Crossing in and straight into the arms of Jose Sarr. Yes, Samado's doing the good problem, I think. Oh, good throw out early here to Cunha, who's got his defender isolated for a moment, and Cunha's run it all the way along, there's not another Wolves player within 40 yards of him. Cunha left-hand side of the box, he's cut inside, he strikes oh. it! Oh my oh goodness me, that's incredible! Mateus Cunha with one of the goals of the season! He's run the ball almost the length of the field, cut inside in two and fired it into the far top corner! What a way to announce you return from injury! Mateus Cunha take a bow, that's sensational! When we talk about We've got four injuries in our striker that was up front. There's the reason why we've been missing him. So look, he's run half of the length of the pitch with the ball. He's got two players on him, but he's still got that know-how how to put the ball into that net to cause team problems. Absolutely brilliant from him. Great finish, but that is the reason why we miss players like him. And that is the difference between us scoring and winning games or struggling up front. I uh, know he's coming back and he's, he's still a little bit, probably not match fit, but it just shows you the quality that he's got. What a goal. Corner, right footed from the left hand side, drilled in, headed goal, Wards on in! And it's Morgan Gibbs White, I think, who's got the final touch. The former Wolves man comes back to haunt his old club. A little bit less on this corner, whipped in, well, and the header it. at the near post just evades everybody. Wolves are swarming around the referee. Yeah, there's no, there's no need.
need Tim to go and run to the away fans out. Oh, hang on, hang on, there's a shove in the back of Semedo, I think by Gibbs White. Yeah, he's pushed him. Yeah, VAR needs to look at that. Nothing will be given. It was a foul because he's pushed him definitely in the back. And we're going to get Hugo Bruno and He Chen Wen coming on. Double change on the way as Gary O'Neill tries to switch what his team are doing. Gibbs White's pass comes back to him. Brilliant change comes to De Nio, scores. Nottingham Forest lead. Gibbs White had the first two opportunities. Santi put a stop to it. But nobody there was there to deny De Nio who beats Jose Sarr from close range. Wow. Back to Totti it goes. And to Kilman inside the centre circle. Doyle out to the right-hand side for Semedo. Semedo skips in field away from Hudson Odoi. Clever run by Sarabia. Pull back, Wang shot, charged down by Omar Bamadeli. And it's a Wolves corner. Yeah, good pull back, good play. Then this right-hand side from Semedo. It's drilled towards the far post. Kilman's header. Oh, Totti, can they scramble it in? Yeah. They do! Cunha. Mateus Cunha! Wolves back level. Second of the game. Mateus Cunha mocks Morgan Gibbs White celebration. It's Nottingham Forest 2, Wolves 2. It's a scrappy goal, but that away end does not care. No, it's a lot, but again, it's a, it's a well thought out set play, driven to the back post from Sarabia. Clear header, there's blocks going on there. Header for Kilman, who puts it back into the middle. But it's, yeah, we've got two or three players there in front of the keeper. Cunha, Totti, and Wang, I think it is. Good header from Kilman, though. Yeah, and good reactions for the goal. Cunha, welcome back. <laughs> Nicholas Dominguez. Here come Forrest, though, and it's a good save by Jose Sarr. Ball played in down the left-hand side, and hudson Adoy. Pulls it back to Danilo. Danilo's corner. Jose Sarr tips it over. Yeah. Hudson Adoy on the left hand side. Hudson Adoy looking to run at Semedo. Flicks the ball back in field to Gibbs White. He scoops it on. Hudson Adoy continued his run and Jose Sarr got a hand to the ball. He's going to pull it back to Lamina. In field to Doyle. Doyle lining one up, drilling it. It's a long way wide. And Chirewa, and Chirewa really couldn't get on the end of what was just a long kick forwards. And here comes Forrest with the Rigi into the penalty area, and he tried to square it for Wood, and it was too far ahead of him. And listen to the reaction from the home crowd. Dominguez for Omar Bamadeli, who will look to launch it up towards Ribeiro. Little flick on Rigi. Kilman with him for company. Trying to go past him, puts his cross in, Lamina's there, it's going to be a Forest corner though. Oh, that's what you don't want. You don't want to give away a corner at this late stage. Gibbs White, one arm in the air, right footed from the right hand side. Hangs it in towards the near post, headed away by Fraser. It'll drop to Dominguez to hit it, it's high, it's over the top. And that is the end of the game. Yeah. Nottingham Forest 2, Wolves 2, the points are shared. Mateus Cunha with both goals for Wolves, one superb one in the first half. Controversial circumstances surrounding Morgan Gibbs-White's equaliser when it looked like he'd shoved Nelson Semedo to head home from a corner. Forrest got themselves in front early in the second half. Danilo with the finish after Gibbs-White was denied bursting into the penalty area. But Mateus Cunha scrambled home from a Wolves set piece. And that is how it ends in this Midlands derby. Forrest 2, Wolves 2.